This is called the Better Together Empowerment Series and the Living Powerfully Experience. This is about getting better, getting healthier, getting happier, getting wealthier, and getting wiser. I'm really excited about the intentionality around each individual taking control of their own life and, and living to, as I say, to thy own self be true. I'm here to do what? Transform. I'm here to get what? Better. better. We're getting better. I'm guaranteed to work if we do what? Work. Yeah. Pause is a spiritual discipline that's um, really important. Um, in biblical text, in the psalmist, uh, God said, be still. Mm. Be still and know thyself. Be still. Pausing is different from stopping. Pausing is about intentional listening to your spirit, listening to your soul. Because we, sometimes when we're still, we got 50 different things going through our minds. And we're still not listening to, to our souls. So really just really wrapping our minds around what it means to just pause for a moment throughout the day. So we're gonna just take a pause. Now reawaken yourself to new life. Have you noticed with your cell phone every now and then the applications, the page starts freezing, the applications is acting mm. funny, mm. and you just need to shut it down. Mm. I took my phone into AT&T. They said, how often do you shut your phone off? <laughs> I said, I haven't shut it off in months, they said. He said, first of all, he said, you got too many open files. You should close these files that's, out. That's good. Yes. And he said that at least once a day, shut your phone off. Mm. And it'll reboot and then things will work fine. Most of us are familiar with motivation, motivational speakers, going to the large hotel ballroom gatherings, having a speaker on the stage that gets us emotionally excited. And right. from that emotional excitement, there are some things that that energy can cause to change of behavior or thinking. So motivation has been a really important force in many of our lives but we're now talking about the next level so motivation right. means that you're getting emotionally stirred up and excited and activated transformation is about caterpillar to butterfly a new creature has been born with new yeah. DNA, new ways of thinking moving um showing up different body even um yeah. So that's what this series is really preparing us for and getting us familiar with is transformation. And that's my lane. And that's where he, why healing is a part if you're talking about transformational work as well. Transformation is the process of work mm -hmm. that you commit yourself to yeah. that makes the difference. Mm -hmm. You can be motivated to go to the gym, but if you don't get you a good workout, mm -hmm that's consistent with your desired outcomes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And give yourself over to consistently sustaining that regimen. Yeah. Utman says, yeah. uh, your God is whatever is your ultimate yeah. concern. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. we no longer slide to the edge of our beds yeah. and have prayer mm -hmm. at night or in the morning. The last thing we do and the first thing we do, for, even for God's people, is we grab this cell phone and then it preoccupies us. So when we talk about positive intelligence and we talk about this concept of the power of the pause, you can take a pause at any point in time throughout your day. And it's important to start with those pauses, to start with the breaks. You don't have to have the beautiful sound bath, and, right? You decide, right? In this moment, I'm gonna start my day. Yeah, it hurts when I go to the gym. No game without mm -hmm. You know, and but that's what I have to do in order to move forward. Mm -hmm. So I have to be, when you talk about intentional, I have to be intentional because I can be very, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm a bucket of tears right now mm -hmm. in that space, so okay. I might Let clap. it flow, sister, we got, got you. Let it go if it comes. Let, we, we got you, honey. I have to, if I'm gonna be intentional, because I can be intentional about establishing relationships or doing things for you, 
but I can't do them for me. And that's where I, that's got to be my breakthrough. Yes. I got to figure out how to break through that. Because I had so much stuff moving on, it was actually, it's becoming, now that I'm healing, it's like overwhelming. Like, I got so much stuff to do now because it was just piling up, piling up. But part of that process is I also know that I want to get better and I have these visions of what I want to do. It's very clear what I want to do. The question is, which pain is worth it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There, can, there can be the proactive pain mm -hmm. that is the cost of enlarging, of bettering, advancing. Or there can be the default pain of, of, of not stepping up to something. So when you, when you say it's particular work, mm -hmm. it's particular for you, right. it's very different for you. Like I said, based on your experiences in life, we each have different saboteurs, different triggers, mm -hmm. different things that's gonna hold us back. It come to me is that people don't like themselves. Mm -hmm. Because, they're, I mean, so think about the impact of that in, in a year, mm -hmm. or maybe less than a year. And mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, I, I uh, call a, a friend of mine on the East Coast today and asked her did I need to get a counselor for her. <laughs> you know, just because she was doing all of these face things. Now, it seems like it might be fun, but think about the impact that it's having to the mind. You know, it's telling me that I don't like who I look like, so I'm making myself up to all of these imaginary things. You have to be honest about what your weaknesses are because the only thing you have to offer people is yourself. Mm -hmm. So you have to, the best way to protect what you mean to other people mm -hmm. is to protect yourself for yourself. Transformation is a journey. Step one is seeing yourself, seeing how you might influence others, deciding that you're gonna intercept those saboteurs, and then we got those limiting beliefs. We got things that go deeper. God is always in the present. And it's important for us to center on that reality because in centering in that reality, it brings us back to the essential truth that you have everything that you need mm -hmm. in this moment mm -hmm. to do what God created you to do mm -hmm. in this moment. How do you feel about it? I mean, if you're, you're feeling not so good about how you're responding to something, mm -hmm then we always need to step back and check ourselves. When we start with the saboteur assessment, it's not saying you got problems. It's not saying you're not healthy, you're not happy. It's saying I want to up level, I want to minimize those things that are not allowing me to be at my best, that are not allowing me to be my happiest, my healthiest, all those, all those things, right? Decide what works for you. That ain't for you, cross it out. That ain't for you, just cross it out. And you have to listen to your soul because your soul is always talking, but a lot of times we're not paying attention. So as we are doing this work, it's the transformation will come if we listen. I kept thinking that controller was my number one, but it's not. It's right. kind of down there. Right. But it pops up more than, you know. <laughs> but mine was actually the stickler. Yes. I was like, mm -hmm. So what are you going to do differently this week I'm to get do better? Differently this week. I, but I was saying that because oh. when I was looking at my daughter's, <clears throat> hers, and we do kind of bump heads because mm -hmm. of that. And this has enlightened me as to why we bump it. We love mm -hmm. each other. Right. We hang out all the time. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that we have a great relationship. But we bump heads a lot. Mm -hmm. And now I see why. <laughs> <laughs> I learned so much about me, and one of the things that I'm going to do different is self-care. I'm a pleaser and a controller, and in, in these things, I got a chance to figure out why. Why am, why am I wired that way? Just seeing the results and understanding that, you know, yes, I'm restless, um, there's reasons for that. Yes, I'm hyper-rational. There's reasons for that. Yes, um, you know, there are reasons for it, right? Stemming from childhood trauma, uh, uh, adulthood trauma, all of these things. The, 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 the role that I serve, I own a business. If, any, if it's going to fall, it's because I didn't do, because I'm responsible. What's really unique about it all is that we all have certain characteristics mm -hmm. and for me we pick those characteristics up as we grow up mm -hmm. we imitate a lot of things mm -hmm. that we see just like a baby mm -hmm. a baby only learns what a baby can sees or hears mm -hmm. and so as we get older we in, we emulate those things that we saw mm -hmm. we heard and what someone taught us mm -hmm. And that becomes our characteristics. Mm -hmm. I was incarcerated for 25 years. Mm -hmm. And 
with that being said, I was given a 40-year sentence. Mm -hmm. But I realized that transformation had to happen mm -hmm. in order for me to see freedom again. Mm -hmm. And so I had to make a choice. And that choice was, was I going to die in prison or was I going to get out? Our lives is like an onion, and it has many layers. Yes. And and in order to get to the heart of the onion, you have to pull Keep each it back. Uh, slice by slice yes. and layer by layer. So, um, and all of this is about rewriting the narrative, recreating a new narrative for our lives. Mm -hmm. so everything like, will transform, yeah. right? Yeah. Everything yeah. will yeah. transform, yeah. right? Yeah. You get to create yeah. the life of your dreams. What are you gonna do the next time a meal comes up, the next sunrise that you get to walk. What do you do the next time mm. you get to choose? You're going to choose yourself, yes? Yes. 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 Thank you. That's it, y'all. See you next week. Thank you. Thank you so much.